that's where you really kind of save some money on this. A lot of the thermal imagers have cameras built in and then the thermal imaging. Uh, this is just picking what kind of thermal image in my hand uh, heat has left on the couch. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a very cool um, iPhone 5 and 5S case. And this is, a, it's not a cheap case, I can tell you that, but for what it does, it is kind of uh, an inexpensive for um, thermal imaging, actually. A uh, lot of use cases for this, and we're going to have several videos to take a look at how you can use this, and uh, a really cool one coming up, ghost hunting, uh, or for, you know, the paranormal activity with the thermal imaging. We're going to be taking this to a cemetery and possibly a haunted house and see what we can find uh, on the thermal imager. So that's just for Halloween. We're going to do a little fun stuff with it uh, and then we're going to look at more practical uh, things you can do with this. So <clears throat> let's take a quick look at the case. You can see it's a thermal imaging camera for iPhone 5 and 5S. Not for the 6 yet guys. So uh, just check back here. and Maybe I'll get an update from FLIR 1. Uh, or from FLIR, uh, who makes a lot of thermal imagers. Most of them start in the thousand dollar range, so to have one uh, available <clears throat> to uh, the general public for like 350 is what this was going for. Uh, it's a really nice, uh, you know, like I said, it's pricey, but for thermal imaging, it's not. So this is a space gray. Uh, so if you have a space gray iPhone, I actually have a white iPhone 5S, so, you know, hey, we're gonna rock it with that. Uh, see the heat, flare one, and actually you can see the cool too. You know, you can differentiate between hot, cold, uh, and then you can see on the back here, uh, it slides onto your iPhone. It's got thermal visualization, energy efficiency. We're going to go over some of these uh, practical uses in the outdoor adventure too. Uh, you can see people using it to see in the dark, um, you know, with thermal vision. If you're out uh, and you see a critter, you can actually see the critter in the dark with this thermal imaging. So, you know, hunting, another great. Uh, example uh, a use case of this here so let's go ahead and open this up and take a quick look and there you can see we've actually got the case and again this is it's just a case that slides on your iPhone um, but it adds this actually adds thermal imager and uses your existing camera on your iPhone to uh, kind of overlay the thermal image on what the iPhone's camera is seeing so uh, it's got pretty good, you know, that, that's where you really kind of save some money on this. A lot of the thermal imagers have cameras built in and then the thermal imaging. Uh, this is just piggybacking onto your iPhone 5 and 5S's camera. So half of it's already there, so here's the other half to get the thermal imaging completed. And as you can see, here's the case. Uh, and then it has a FLIR 1 app from the App Store that we will go over. And I'll flip this open. You have a cable here, and it looks like uh, an extender because your headphone jack is going to be really recessed with this. Uh, it's going to give you an option to extend your headphone jack. A lot of the charging cases have that, and then your micro USB cable. And a little quick start guide. And that is all that's in the box. Alright, so I'm going to pause the video guys, we're going to get this installed. And we're going to take a quick look at it. I'll have some video coverage, just some little bit of raw footage here in this video. Uh, but the fun stuff is going to start this week. Like I said, ghost hunting, here we come. All right, I'm going to pause the video. I'll be right back, guys. Hey, guys, welcome back. We've installed the FLIR 1. Super simple and easy to do. You simply snap this little plastic case onto your iPhone 5 and 5S, and you just slide it down into the FLIR 1's camera holder. Uh, the case adds add some bulk, as you can see. But uh, here is your charging for the actual FLIR 1 and I said earlier you get a extender so you just plug that in and you can have access to your headphones. All the ports are accessible and everything looks good. Here is the back as you can see. Camera is easily visible. I've got a green light flashing which means this is all ready to go. Uh, and then the actual imaging here. Uh, camera here as well and then this the little switch you can slide back and forth to tune the image and get the uh, power turned on and everything ready to go. So let's go ahead and we've downloaded the app as you can see on here it says FLIR 1 so let's go ahead and launch the FLIR 1 app and it may have you hold pull and hold the handle to uh, tune the image so I can get the glare off the screen you can see this we're going to actually just push this down on the back and it says it's tuning and now it says it's complete and up comes the imager. Uh, so um, 
we'll do a lot more with our imager, but right now, uh, like right in front of me here is my NAS. And <clears throat> you can kind of see, hopefully I can keep this in the picture, where the heat on the NAS actually is. And there are some LED lights over here, and then you can see my hand in the picture. You can kind of see my thermal image on my hand. Uh, so you can just look around the room, and I'll have actually some video footage, because you can actually take a picture or a video and actually capture this live. Uh, so we'll actually take a look at that. Uh, what I did want to show you too is I'm just going to shut all the lights out here. And this is going to go really dark. One more light. Let me pull this out of the frame for a sec. Alright, so it's totally dark in here for the most part. There is a little blue glow, but... So I take my thermal imager here and I'm going to put it in the screen. And now I'm going to put my hand out here. I, I, it's hard to see my hand actually in the dark, but with the thermal imager, I'm seeing the heat. So, dark can't see hand, put it in front of the imaging, definitely see hand. So that's just kind of a little uh, in the dark kind of thing that I'll let, uh, give you a little demo of. And again, there's the NAS in the dark. You can see right where the heat is uh, on the NAS. So really, really cool. Let's go ahead and put this down, re-engage the lights. And here. All right. So anyway, guys, this is the FLIR 1. Uh, also, I wanted to take a quick look at some of these settings right here. As you can see, it's on iron. Uh, we'll go into these in a little more detail later, but you can actually flip it. Here's like hottest. So this will actually tell you the hottest point on something that you're looking at. Uh, just the opposite is coldest. This will actually tell you the coldest spot uh, on the image you're looking at. Uh, Arctic, um, you know, I think this just kind of gives you like a really, really, where's the really cold? So you could maybe use this to uh, take a look at uh, where you've got cold air coming in between windows and doors. Uh, contrast, I uh, don't know too much about using that one. Rainbow, again, not a whole lot about using that one, but as you can see, uh, it looks pretty much like the iron. Maybe not quite, but a little bit. And then uh, grayscale here, and then we're back to iron, which is what a lot of people use. Uh, and then you can actually go into settings and you can actually uh, turn on a light. And the spot meter, this actually tells you you can gauge a temperature and then it actually has the battery uh, usage of the actual FLIR case itself. So this is at 56% out of the box. I have not charged it. So let's go ahead and flip that back up. And that is really, uh, here's the library. So any pictures or videos that you've taken is accessible in the app uh, through the FLIR library here down here. Uh, and again, like I said, you can take stills or video of this and I'll take this out and do a little video and I'll include it here in the end so anyway guys we're gonna have a lot more fun with this check it out I have a link in the show notes for where you can uh, pick one of these up if you want to spend it uh, you know for 350 it, it's pricey but really it's not for a thermal imager and the uses you can get for this if you want to use this to really insulate your house, take care of where hot or cool air is coming in, it'll pay for itself over six months with your savings of your heat and electrical bills. So it, it's got practical use and you can actually make it save you money to try to earn that money back that you invested in it. And uh, like I said, for 350 it's pricey, but for an imager, you go look at all the other flare imagers and they're in thousands. So uh, it, it's not, it, it's finally coming down to where the commercial public can actually afford it. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to give us a subscription to the channel. It really helps us a lot. And again, check the show notes and stay tuned for a little thermal imaging video after this. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. All right, the lights are off in the room. This is actually my TV. Uh, I've got some little boxes like an Amazon uh, TV up there, Amazon Fire, uh, an HDMI box, switcher. So you can kind of see where the heat is there. If I scroll up, the lights were just on. And so in the lab here, this is like a big fluorescent light. As you can see, it's still leaving a heat mark from where the light was on. Uh, but it is actually off. Up here on the wall is actually a security camera. So you can actually see the heat on the security camera, which is really cool. Um, I don't think we can do any zooming here. It doesn't look like it. So the thermal imager is not able to zoom in the video. But, uh, you know, we can. And so here's a quick demonstration. So I'm going to put my hand here on this love seat right here. And we're going to sit it here for just a second. And then I'm going to remove it. And let's see what kind of thermal image in my hand 
uh, heat has left on the couch. So there we go. My handprint, a little bit of wrist, still present on the sofa. So as you can see, it really does pick up the heat. If I scroll around the room here, and I actually do have a little bit of a light on over here. Uh, so here's the PC. I can come over here and look at the PC and a Drobo. Both of them are on. Both of them are projecting some warmth. You can see probably where the biggest warmth is back there. Uh, and then let's look at the desk. Now you can see where the heat signatures are on the lab desk. Now the screens were just on here not too long ago, so they actually still have a little heat in them. Uh, that's a iMac in the corner, an iPad that has not been on, a laptop. And I was sitting in this chair not too long ago, but it doesn't look like uh, it's got any meat left in it. It's been a little while. And as you kind of go around the room, you can actually see where the heat is at. Now, it looks like there's a lot of heat from under this monitor here. That's actually a switch that is blowing hot air right there. The fans are right under the monitor. If we come over here and take a closer look at the heat, you can actually see that switch is pretty hot. Uh, if I put my hand down here and feel the air, it is warm air coming out of there. So very, very cool. So anyway, guys, this is a quick demonstration of the imager and how it's going to look when you're using it. You can really just bounce around a room and just see where all of it is. Now, I wanted to show you one other thing. The air conditioner is actually running. I'm going to go up here to the air. Boom. You can see the cool air is right there coming out of the cool vent um, as it's really, really dark. Uh, the darker, like the blues, the blacks, in this mode is the coldest spot. Now, if I turn on the hottest spot, we're going to switch views here. The hottest spot's in the room. Now, this here, you're seeing a really hot spot. That is actually a camera that uh, is a tiny little camera in the bookshelf that actually watches over the room. And if I scroll around up here, now we're going to have to tune the image, it says. So I'm going to go ahead and just tune the image a little bit. Alright, so hottest spots, there's a hot spot right there, and this is the hottest, this is the coldest, so we can look at the uh, coldest view, and uh, best is uh, go up here, uh, in the air conditioner running, boom, there's the coldest view. Uh, then we've got Arctic, which it, it'll really emphasize the cold um, a little more, and then uh, Contrast. Not a whole lot to use that one for. And then finally there's a rainbow setting uh, and a gray setting, which we've just gone to gray here. Uh, and then we'll go back to the iron setting, which basically shows, uh, it's kind of the default and shows it really good. So anyway guys, uh, this is just a quick uh, overview of the FLIR uh, one camera and thermal imager and exactly what it can do. Uh, really, really cool stuff. And again, stay tuned. We're going to have some really good uh, use cases for this, and we're going ghost hunting. Uh, we'll see what we see before Halloween. Thanks for watching, guys.